Although our world may feel ordinary and familiar, it is a far cry from the world in which humans have existed for over 99.99% of our history. Today, we live in a sophisticated and engineered world that provides us with luxuries such as food, shelter, and security, which we tend to take for granted. However, for millions of years, life was vastly different, and there is not just one human history. Join us on a journey through human history, from the split of the Hominini tribe, from the apes to the birth of civilization and the rise of the modern world. Before we start, I would like you to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our videos. And if you are interested in a particular part of this video, make sure to look at the timestamps down in the description. Our story begins with the split of the Hominini tribe from the apes 6 million years ago, followed by the emergence of the genus Homo, the first humans 2.8 million years ago. While we tend to view ourselves as the only humans, this is not true. When Homo sapiens first appeared 200,000 years ago, there were at least six other human species in existence, each with comparable intelligence and abilities, making them akin to living with aliens. Some of these species, such as Homo erectus, survived for an impressive 2 million years, 10 times longer than modern humans have existed. The other human species vanished around 10,000 years ago, and the reasons for their disappearance remain unknown. Modern humans possess a small percentage of Neanderthal and other human DNA, indicating some interbreeding, but not enough to merge the two species. The fate of our extinct cousins is unclear. They may have lost the battle over resources or experienced a series of minor genocides. Nonetheless, modern humans are the only human species that survive today. The early humans that emerged 2.8 million years ago were adept at using tools, but they made limited progress until they discovered how to control fire. Cooking with fire made food more nutritious, thus aiding brain development. It also provided light and warmth, extending the length of the day and made winters more bearable. Fire also scared predators away and aided hunting by pre-roasting food. From 300,000 years ago, most human species lived in small hunter-gatherer societies, had their own cultures, buried their dead, and communicated with each other in a primitive language. If it were possible to bring a few ancient human babies to the present day, it is unclear how different they would be from modern humans, and there is much debate on this topic. Modern humans with their current anatomical features emerged from 200,000 years ago. However, it is believed that behaviorally, modern humans did not exist until around 70,000 years ago. Prior to this, infants would not have had the necessary gene mutations required to develop a brain capable of modern language and abstract thinking. About 50,000 years ago, there was a sudden surge in innovation, with tools and weapons becoming more advanced and culture becoming more complex. This was made possible by the development of a multi-purpose brain and more advanced language, which allowed for effective communication and closer cooperation among humans. It is this ability to cooperate flexibly in large groups that sets us apart from other creatures on Earth. With the evolution of our brain, we became capable of expanding knowledge quickly, preserving knowledge gained over generations, and building on past knowledge for even deeper insights. Prior to this, information was mainly passed down from generation to generation through genetics, which was not an efficient method. However, despite these advancements, human life remained relatively unchanged for the next 40,000 years. Our ancestors had limited resources to draw from, as they were just one species among many. It would be difficult to construct a tall building without first knowing how to build a basic house, and it is important to avoid arrogance when considering the capabilities of our ancestors. Humans who lived 50,000 years ago were experts in survival, possessing a detailed mental map of their territory and finely tuned senses. They possessed extensive knowledge about the plants and animals in their environment, and were skilled in making intricate tools that required years of practice and exceptional motor skills. Their physically demanding daily routines resulted in bodies that could rival those of modern day athletes, and they enjoyed a rich social life within their tribe. Surviving in such a challenging environment demanded a broad range of skills, and while modern humans collectively have more knowledge today, our ancestors were superior to us as individuals. 
Things rapidly changed around 12,000 years ago. Humans independently developed agriculture in multiple locations. Before, survival relied on individual physical and mental abilities in all areas. However, with agriculture, people could depend on the skills of others for survival, which allowed for specialization in certain fields. People began to focus on improving tools, breeding crops and livestock, and inventing new things. This eventually led to the birth of civilization as farming became more efficient. Agriculture also provided a reliable food source that allowed people to hoard food on a large scale, which was easier to do with grains than with meat. This led to the need for protection and tighter communities, and the need for organization grew. As humans became more organized, things became more efficient, and villages grew into cities, which became kingdoms and eventually empires. This increased connectivity between humans led to opportunities for exchanging knowledge, which led to exponential progress. Around 500 years ago, the scientific revolution began, which transformed our understanding of mathematics, physics, astronomy, biology, and chemistry. Soon after the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution occurred and set the foundation for the modern world. This led to exponential growth in efficiency, which allowed more people to contribute to human progress over their lifetimes. The invention and evolution of computers, as well as the rise of the internet, have had a significant impact on our world, and it's hard to comprehend how quickly these changes have occurred. Since the emergence of the first human species, approximately 125,000 generations have passed. Physiologically modern humans have only been around for 7,500 generations, and civilization began 500 generations ago. Science has only been around for 20 generations, and the internet became widely accessible only one generation ago. Today, we live in the most prosperous age in human history, and our impact on the planet has been significant, ranging from changes in the atmosphere to the modification of landscapes and the extinction of various animal species. We have accomplished incredible feats, such as creating artificial stars to light up the night and sending people to the moon. Our technological advancements have allowed us to send robots to other planets and observe the universe with unprecedented accuracy. Our knowledge has grown exponentially, with even high school students possessing more knowledge than scholars from centuries ago. Despite our dominance over the planet, our way of life is relatively new in the grand scheme of human history, having existed for less than 0.001% of it. We are still similar to our ancestors from 70,000 years ago. The future is uncertain, and it is unclear whether our progress is built on a strong foundation or unstable ground. It is important to remember the uniqueness of our human world and not to become overly upset by minor inconveniences. And what do you think? What's our next major evolutionary milestone, and when do you think it will occur? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.